Hello my angels, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Jemima. Please subscribe and join this beautiful family of ours. Um, so if you couldn't tell by the title already, I am doing... Actually, I haven't even thought about what the title is yet, so... That's great. Anyway, I'm kind of just using products that I don't really use anymore. Um, for various reasons, one, I might just simply not like them, which is, I don't understand why I still have them, but I still do. Um, maybe another reason is I just found better products. Same, the same one, the same one. Um, let's go back a little bit. I found like a different version of them that just works so much better for me and for my skin type. Um, I mean, those are the two main reasons we're looking at these products, why I think I don't use them, just simply might not like them, found something better. Um, I, I like testing out different products, so I tend to, when I buy new products, I tend to use them, and if I like them, I just carry on using them. So maybe I've just forgotten about some of these, and maybe testing them out today will maybe change my mind on some of them. Um, so obviously I am starting with a complete bare face apart from my eyebrows. Um, the reason is I don't actually own any brow products that I don't like or don't use. I only have like simply one brow product which is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Um, so, you know, thought we'd just keep the brows on for this one. So, we're gonna get straight into this. Um, just keeping it a bare face so you guys go along this journey with me. Didn't, I want to start the, this video off a little different. So, we're going to go straight in to um, priming my eyes. And the first thing I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the thing, in the shade. It's, I don't know if it's shade, but um, original. The reason I don't use this anymore is an interesting one, actually. Um, one, I find it doesn't really give me much coverage as an eye primer. Um, obviously, I mainly use my... MAC Soft Ochre one, which just completely covers any like veins, any discolorants, that's a word, um, on my eyes, and I find this doesn't really do it. Um, apart from that, I don't really think there's any other reason why I don't use this product anymore, but maybe using it today will tell me another thing. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that onto my lid. Um, also, I find you need like quite a lot of it if you want like a full coverage on your eyelid, um, and that's what I like, so I have to use, don't know if you can see that, but it, that's, that's a big blob. That is a big blob. So I'm just gonna apply that onto my lid. So, that is blended in onto my eye. And I'm just gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, to be honest, I do use this sometimes. Um, I wouldn't say it's a product that I don't use anymore. Um, I just don't really have any other powders that I just don't use. Um, I have about three different types of powders, maybe four. Um, and I do kind of just mix it up. Um, also, I find this creases very quickly on my eyelids. Um, and obviously you don't really want that, um, so yeah, that's, that's a, another one, but I'm not, not judging it too much yet, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's quite hard to judge whether or not, um, it goes well onto my eye, like if it, because obviously you can buy some primers that make your eyeshadow go on really nicely, and then you can buy some primers that honestly make your eyeshadow just look absolutely crap. But then also it depends on the eyeshadow, so it's always hard to tell. Um, so we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow now, and I'm using this Sephora um, eyeshadow palette. Just looks like this right here. Um, Simply, I stopped using this because I bought way better um, palettes. To be honest, I don't actually know why I bought this in the first place. This palette, to me, does not scream my name in any way or form. Um, so, it doesn't have much variety, so we're going to try work with it. This isn't going to be an amazing makeup look, I can tell you that now. Um, simply because those colours right there aren't doing me great favours unfortunately but we're gonna work with it you know as you do um I'm gonna try to use as many colours as I can just to get the real real vibe of what we're working with I haven't actually even used all these colours before as well so should be interesting well I'm gonna go in with this orange shade here it's a matte colour and we're just gonna see 
how this applies. I mean, as far as I remember, they weren't very pigmented, but I didn't have any issue like applying them. Um, they went on quite well, um, weren't patchy in any way. Um, but yeah, they just weren't very pigmented. My eyes feel really weird though because of that um, primer. I feel very like stiff. So we're just gonna see, tap off the excess and blend that in. Thing really come out onto my lid. So this is fantastic, honestly. I'm seeing nothing. The only problem is I don't really want to use any of my other br blending brushes because um, I did actually, I must confess, I haven't actually washed them. Um, so other colors might come off, but hey, I'm just gonna have to work with it. So I'm just going in with a different brush now. So what I can see is there is color there. It's not very pigmented, that's all I can say. Um, next we're gonna go in with the, well, I don't even, honestly when I first bought them, these two color shades were like purple. I, they're like a brownie purple now, but I'm just gonna mix them together and like smoke out the eye because that's all I'm really getting with these colors so far. I have so many more, um, palettes though that I don't use but I was like do I just use one so you guys like know or do I use them all but the others I was like mm, I don't know because they're not even like popular ones I feel like Sephora and brown ones can sometimes be quite popular so we're gonna go in and um cut the crease because we want to obviously use some of these shimmer shades I'm just gonna go in with um what am I going to go in? in with NARS Radiant Creamy um, only because I know this one works really well when you're cutting the crease and I want to, I, I want to be fair to these eyeshadows because I never I have never actually used um, any of these uh, shimmer shades before so giving it a good base might give it more of an opportunity I'll use this one okay so first I'm going to go in oh, this is so odd. I'm gonna go in with this one here. Kind of like this, like, it's kind of ready brown shimmer. Um, and we're just gonna apply that on the, like, end of the cut crease. And um, we're gonna kind of do, like, an ombre effect. Oh, wow, that's quite nice. Like, it's subtle, but it is actually quite nice. They ain't doing anything wrong right now. I ain't seeing, I mean, they're not, like, the most pigmented ones I've ever seen in my life but getting pigmented um what's the word what's the word pigmented shimmer shades isn't an easy thing and with this orange e shade shimmer shade here and apply that more into like the next section of the cup crease okay and then the last one I'm gonna go in with is this silver one the silver silver shimmer shade um, I think this might be quite intense. I feel it. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, okay. No, I've absolutely... I've just fucked it. I have literally just messed whatever makeup look, whatever opportunity that makeup look had of being good, I just absolutely fucked it. So, for mascara, I'm going to go in with Kiss New York Ivy okay that does not say ivy um the kiss new york bold and long mascara the reason i do not use this is <laughs> oh my god okay well maybe that but can we just like check out this this brush like i i don't, that does not work for me um i have this oh i can't be oh sorry i'm just more focusing on that i just got it on my trousers but it's fine it's okay um yeah this mascara just has never really worked for me since the day i bought it i took it out and i was like what the heck is that okay right so that basically did absolutely nothing this is actually gonna go in the bin i don't even know why i still have it um we're gonna go in with another mascara now and it actually breaks my heart to say this but it's a l'oreal brand okay so it's the mega volume miss Mang manga 
manga, yeah, manga, that's it, yeah, manga, um, mascara, um, this has just never really worked for me from day one, I found, I found the day I used it, my eyes were really itchy, they started watering, and I never really had that problem before, and this is, like, absolutely dried out, so it probably won't do anything anyway, but now we're gonna move on to the face with two different, um, foundations but from the same brand and probably a brand that you're not expecting just pause this video here comment down below what you think what foundation brand you think i'm going to use um and then click start this video when you're ready indeed actually not indeed because you probably wouldn't have guessed the two foundations i am using today are both mac wow that is, that's an interesting one to say. I did not see, like, my skin just did not look good. Um, so, I mean, like, I like full coverage. Not really. Not, I mean, like, maybe medium coverage. If you're a medium coverage type of girl, yeah, okay. This, this could work for you. This could work for you. But me, never really vibed with it. Never really vibed with it. And then this bad boy, the um, Neuralize Moisture Foundation. Um, first of all, it was way too dark for me, um, it shouldn't be as much of a problem now because I actually do have fake tan on my neck, so it will blend a bit better into my neck. Um, it's also a very watery foundation, didn't really like it that much, um, and I found if I sweat, it basically just came off, like, super easy. So, I don't even know if there's anything left in this one, so maybe there's, like, we'll just try it out, but... There is definitely stuff left in this. So I'm going to mix them together. Actually, no, I'm not going to mix them together. I'm going to... Oh, there's actually still quite a lot. I'm going to apply some onto this side of the face for this, for the Shudo Fix. And then this side of my face for the Mineralize Skin Finish. So I will apply these and show you what it looks like in a second. So both foundations are on. So like I said, this set, this side is a studio fix. This side is a mineralized skin finish. I must say, I feel like I was a little too harsh on these products. You probably will notice a complete difference in the colors on my face because they are different colors of foundation. Um, I cannot actually blame that on the foundation themselves. I can blame that on little... 14 15 year old me and I definitely prefer the mineralized skin finish to the studio fix that's for sure now on to concealer this is an interesting one because I think this is also a L'Oreal product why am I bashing L'Oreal oh my god I feel so bad um the reason I stopped using this uh it's called the okay it just broke it literally just broke on me. So we're just gonna try apply it without it breaking. Probably gonna break on me 15 times. And then try blend it. So this should be an interesting one. Okay, it's a stick one. Maybe that's it. Maybe I don't work with sticks. Um, concealers, because I don't really have any. Okay, well, I mean, it's blending. Oh, bronzer. Actually, no, we're gonna contour first. So I'm using my sleek makeup cream contour kit in the light version find i found like better conceit uh like um contour kits for me um i mean it isn't the most pigmented and i as far as i can remember it doesn't blend very well um but you know for like a um what is it uh uh a drugstore that's what it is um contour kit it isn't actually that bad i mean sleek overall are actually an amazing brand they do have some amazing products and i do love them um but you know maybe they're just this just isn't one of them okay yeah i feel like there's not really much pigmentation going on didn't really like it so that's just gonna have to go oh mine's okay so for bronzer we're gonna go in with i don't actually know what this is called it's the rimmel i'm pretty sure this is rimmel sun bronze in the shade 022 just looks like this um i did actually used to use this a lot like this is my first ever bronzer um there's not loads of this i just don't really use it anymore uh don't think the color is quite for me in a way but i mean it is actually a decent bronzer the next 
We're gonna go in and highlight. So we're gonna go in with the sleek highlight um, highlight palette, Precious Metals. Um, the thing I would say about this is I just don't really use it. I will probably keep this because I do like it. Um, these three are all creams and then this one is a powder, but it's a bronzer. Um, actually, I might use it. I just wanna test it. So we're just gonna do a little test because I don't think I've actually ever used. It's like a shimmer bronzer. I don't, I've used one shimmer bronzer in my past. Um, Nice. But I don't know if shimmer bronzer is really my thing. I mean, it's weird. I must say. Now, um, next is the lips. Um, and again, I'm using Sleek. Oh my, honestly, some of these brands, like, I actually love, and I don't know why I'm using their products, but that's just how it is. Um, the only actual reason why I don't use this is the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. One, the colour. I just don't think I should have bought the colour. I feel like the way you apply it, it begins to look different as it like goes on. So angels, that is the end of the video. Please smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it or if you just liked the idea of what this video was. Um, I must say again, some of these brands I absolutely do love. It's just certain products. Sometimes every brand has that. They make a product. It's either an amazing one or maybe just doesn't work or, you know, just didn't work for me. Um, I will be keeping some of these products anyway and some, they're going in the trash. Just not for me, really. So, yeah, that, that's kind of all I have to say, really. So, angels, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.